Hello, everybody, it's Jerry Osso here, and I'm sure welcome you all back to the Realm of the Nine Portals. We are in Realm 3 as of right now, looking for ladder pieces so we can get to our ladder built up and ready so we can get the frick out of here. There's also a wild monster in here, I believe, somewhere existing. Decisively, wanting you to ruin my day somehow, you know. Because that is what a monster wishes us to do. We can hit three of those ladder pieces, thank you very much. There can't be much. There can't be much more. There literally can't. Maybe that was just like the monster from the sea going near the freaking base. Maybe there is no monster in these. And then again, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm doubting myself on that. You know, I'm gonna say most likely there is a monster in here. And if there isn't a monster in here, then holy moly, that big old freaking fisherman monster freaking getting out, getting out of control over there. You know. <clears throat> Oh god, this is definitely not but I imagine looking for planks. Plankton Looking for planks in the middle of an abandoned town. Oh, there has to be some kind of plank back here. Or not, there's nothing back here at all. I'm just completely papega. Completely papega indeed. I am. Looking for plank I just want planks, dude. That's all I want. All I want is a plank. So I can get the frick out of here. Maybe I've already gotten on plank so we can get that. Maybe I've gotten everything. I can get the frick out of here. Looking for anything else I could be suspiciously planky, you know? <coughs> My voice is starting to go out too. I'm gonna go check real quick with the ladder. See if that is okay, I guess. Wait, was that a plank? How do I get to the freaking plank? Letter place again. There it is. Here it is. There we go. Finally. Okay. There we go. We have to go this way. Go to ladder. Get the frick out of here. I still don't see why we can't just like take the freaking ladder from the other ladder that's already pre built and just get out. You know, but then again, that'd be too easy. I'm saying a beat to try wouldn't win us to be if we had something like that easy, you know? That'd be, that'd be it. But then we'd be a trial at that point in time. Where am I going? God, please tell me I'm not going backwards. I swear to God, if I'm going backwards, I will be upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, what am I looking for at this point in time? Am I looking for a freaking planks in the middle of the forest now? I swear to God, if I have to go all the way back to look for these planks, I will be absolutely happy that's what i meant to say yes i'll be absolutely happy i can't just take this letter right here are you kidding me i have to build my own freaking ladder at this point oh my god okay <clears throat> game and i'm also pretty sure there is a monster in there i just haven't encountered it yet because it's either very slow or it's just the monster on the opposite side of the lake and it's just existing over there. Maybe I have to go somewhere else. I don't know for certain though. But holy gosh, bro. I am not looking through every freaking shrub and tree branch for a plank of wood. Oh my god. We can do it. We can do it, Mist. We can do it. We're okay. We can go find some wood. You just have to find some wood. Get the heck out of here. And survive, I guess. Okay. Monsters. Come out and do your thing, I guess. If there are even any monsters in this town. Like, holy god, it's just me exploring an abandoned town at this point in time now. Nope, nothing in there. Oh my god, this will take forever. Maybe some plank slipper here I didn't get to see, you know? Because I didn't... Oh, there is! Oh my god! Oh, I'm glad I came all the way back to look for some planks. Yeah, something tells me that I should... Mmm. Some Slenderman stuff going on here now. 
Okay. Oh, go back to your bell ringing. Go back to your bell ringing. I'm not disturbing you at all. I hope. I'd hope I'm not disturbing you. That door looks like I'm gonna have to go that way anyways sometime soon. I certainly hope I'm not disturbing you and your bells and whatever you're doing, I guess. That would be such a shame. Such a shame indeed. Okay, I'm probably thinking that it's probably the bell for me to leave. I'm thinking that's the bell that I need to use to get the, the heck out of here, I think. I'm thinking it is. If it's not, then I am about to be very... So... Sad. Very much so sad. I will be sticking around real quick. I did, did I check over here? Yeah, I checked over here. Okay, oh, we can go now. I, I'm pretty sure at this rate I have searched this entire town three times over now, and I've gotten every single piece of wood that I can get. Unless it wants me to break this wood. Yeah, I'm not going in there. I'm not going down there. That's I uh uh I, that's uh, uh, that's that, that, that's the limit. No, no, thank you. I'm not going down a well. <laughs> I'm not becoming Sadako. <sighs> okay, I swear to God, if I have to run all the way back here, I will be absolutely livid. I will be livid indeed. If I die, I will be livid. If I do any, if if anything, in my misfortune, so so dear Lord happens. I will be absolutely insane. Because I have to go, and I swear to God, if I die, I have to come all the way back for this again. I'd be so, oh. Yep, that was the last one, thank God. Yeah, we got the ladder here now, finally. Oh, I guess my torch went out. I... Hello. You look very dead. Oh yeah, you are very dead. What am I doing? Is this a boss fight? Oh my god, thank you so much for the boss fight. Okay, so Spear are okay, my Centaur, if I if I die with a Centaur in my hands, I will freaking spawn back here. I is good. Oh, that's just so Dark Souls. This is so Dark Souls-esque. Oh, monster! I guess I'm, I'm facing you! Hello, friend. Or foe. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think this monster is a little bit... I don't know for certain, though. I don't know for certain if this monster is exactly... Can I roll back? Is there a way for me to roll around? Can I dodge this thing? Can I... Finally, there we go. Guardian Sentry. Oh, he is... Okay, uh, we have some actually, we can roll. Okay, we have to, oh, this is a boss fight. Oh, okay, I have my health here too. Oh, this is not good. Maybe if we... Oh, he has brick. He has a lot of health. He has a lot of health indeed. Oh, he's in red mode now. He is angry. I think I got him like half his health or whatever. Oh, brick boss fight. Okay, we'll spawn back at the place where we spawned back before, though, with the Simtars, but I'm happy with that. Wait, what? Hey, instead of I die, I spawn back- what? What? 
So if I died, I'd be- Oh, wait, maybe if I come back to the portal, it'll stop me back over to the place I need to go. Okay, hold on, I swear to God. Okay, yeah, so if you do die, you will sit back here again. That is fantastic, actually. So if I die if a centaur my hand, I will- So, if I do die if this, I will spawn back here. It's fantastic. Thank God. I was about to be so freaking upset if- Upset and spaghetti if I was about to go through that again and have to do- Whole bunch of chapters. Thank you for Guardian Sentry creature thing. Let's fight. Come on. Okay, uh, I have a lot of health, but at the same time, I'm probably gonna die if I don't. Can't go back, so I am stuck here if you, uh... Is there any like, special attacks I can do? No, I could, maybe I could dodge his hit. Oh, there is a heavy attack. There we go, finally you're up. Okay, uh, that's not effective as I thought it would be. It's a lot of dodging. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dodging in this game. I can, I can heal back up. That is fantastic. Yeah, I can heal back up. It's very slow though. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna get real, real aggressive with us. Yeah, he's getting real aggressive in terms of like actually going to murderize me. Gonna save our chain up. He is faster though. Yeah, he's definitely faster. We're gonna save up for Chino up. We can heal back up, that'd be fantastic for us. <laughs> so we'll have to do a lot of running away or else we will die. So yeah, this might be a little bit of boring for a bit, but if I want to survive, his health is going down pretty fast as well, so I think I just have to survive at this point in time now. Like, if I, if I survive, I should be fine, I think. Like, if, I, if I'm able to survive, and it's, it, there is a timer on the bottom here doing its thing, so maybe it is something... Okay, uh... Did I see the mo- Okay, we gotta heal back up- AGAIN! Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of dashy dodgies for a second here. I DEFEATED HIM! Oh my god, I defeated him with such little health left! How's oh, just a timer then? That literally is just a timer. Oh my god! Did we do it? We defeated the monster? Did we do it? What we did- Is that what- was that- was that it? Well, that better have been it. I'm assuming that was it. God, that better have been it or else... I mean, I didn't die, did I? Or do I have to, like, survive in the ring with the monster for, like, the freaking entirety of the time? Like, I'm assuming I just have to kill it. Give me a sword, I'm gonna kill the thing. That's what's gonna happen. That is indeed what's gonna happen indeed. Uh, but maybe I got a relic? I don't know for certain. I really don't know for certain if I did get a relic or not, so... Hoping for the best here. I 
I got it! I get it! I got it for the, the, the Guardian! Deity relevance to Merrick. Current status deceased. Merrick, the third deity relativist, felt as if he belonged with the commoners. Hence why he had been tasked to watch over a forest of a town that's eyed with a tribe. Near the town, there is a lake which is both used for the water supply and a fishing area. Over there lived a simple fisherman, alone in a small log cabin. The fisherman would sail on his boat in the lake and fish on a daily basis. Ugh. However, when the void made contact with the realm, it had begun releasing numerous kinds of toxins into the water, causing all the fish to mutate into hostile deep sea-like creatures. One of them managed to bite the fisherman, transferring his toxins into his blood, rendering him ill. At first, no notice of the changes were visible to the fisherman, but soon enough, he had noticed over time how his sweat was starting to turn green, and how he was becoming more slimy. The fisherman eventually needed into a horrible monster nicknamed the Fisher. It lurched inside the lake, continuously releasing more and more toxins, more than other fish could ever bear. With time, people started to complain to Merrick about the lack of clean water, and many dying via water poisoning. Merrick then contacted Aldrich and guardian sentries to protect the town's temple, where Merrick resides in. While he was off to investigate the lake, he had then encountered Fisher, the lake monster. It immediately snatched his body, proceeding to take him down the lake depths, forcing him to ingest the toxins. Within a few hours, the waves of the lake would help Merrick's body find its way back to the shore. He struggled back to the town's temple, and to his dismay, finds that the void was spread to the temple guardian sentry, corrupting it. Knowing the toxins will soon take him over, Merrick compels himself to his scimitar, forcing the toxins to dissipate, and in hope that another will use this tool to stop the once protecting guardian sentry. So that was the guy who had the freaking sword! Oh my god, like, they're all- a lot of them are just dead or corrupted, so we have two dead people and one corrupted person that's in the maze in Realm 2. But this guy, that was- I thought that was, that's a lot more- so the people, eventually, they, they, they abandoned the town because the, the, the water got corrupted. There's, like, no source of water for them to drink. So they absolutely had to abandon it. And there's a monster that's in the freaking... the fisherman turned into a monster which resided in the lake. Which, in turn, dragged Merrick into the lake and poisoned him. This made it so that it was... So in the void corrupted his guardian sentries as well that were guarded in the temple. And it's caused a hole. And he couldn't take it. And he didn't want to force himself to be, you know, turned into a monster like Merrick. Or the fisherman was, so he had to kill himself there for that, which is very noble of Merrick, I will say, very, very noble indeed. That is like one of the most noble acts, I guess. Like he sacrificed himself pretty much to make sure that he wouldn't endanger the rest of the tribe, in a sense, I guess. Which is actually pretty. It's pretty interesting. Like the lore of this game is very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. That makes a lot more. That was a fun. That was a fun mechanic there at the end. There, I wasn't expecting a boss battle. That is something I was. I really wanted to do. Like this game has such a Dark Souls feel to it, like such a Dark Souls vibe, that I figured there has to at least be a boss battle or something in this game. They have all the other stuff requirements of this game, pretty much. Like we have the horror, we have everything else, but we don't have a boss battle yet. So then we got that. Fantastic. Uh, so we have we finished chapters one, two, and three. So I guess 4 is next, it's not even available yet. I've heard some people say that it's not here yet, but I'm gonna go check anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's here. I finished chapter 3. Yeah, I finished chapter 3. I don't think it's available yet. Yeah, chapter 4 is just not there. This realm is not still, is still not released. Okay, so yeah, we don't have anything else to do yet. But that was basically it. That, like, this is the... Uh, Realm of the Nine Portals. If you guys want to play this, I'll link, link down in below the description. But this is fantastic. Like, absolutely fantastic. I, I, I highly recommend playing this game for yourself to experience it in your own in your own time as well. Like, not just watching me do it, but you, you get to experience it as well. Maybe get some badges, etc. You know? Like, it's, it's just the way that the game is. It's just really well built. Really well built game. And I believe it's just it's a fun one to do it too. It's a very fun game too. Oh, he did. Waltha died on the Waltha. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Remember to be good people, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.